In this video, we'll be discussing about the Mpox and the monkeypox virus. The Mpox is a disease which is caused by monkeypox virus. This monkeypox virus is double-stranded DNA virus from a family of pox variety with genus orthopox virus. Here in this diagram, we can see the monkeypox virus size and its structure in comparison to HIV, SARS-CoV-2 and polio virus. And it must be noted here that formerly it was called monkeypox disease, but now it's termed as Mpox disease. Basically, monkeypox is a misnomer as it was first identified in 1958 in crab eating macaque monkeys, Macaca facularis, in laboratory. And this is why from it gets its name. But its most susceptible hosts are rodents like Gambian giant rats, tree squirrels, and doe mice. So to tackle this, World Health Organization renamed it. It's from November 2022. It was Mpox name adopted instead of monkeypox. So the disease is now called Mpox disease, but the virus is still called the monkeypox virus in common language. Now let's get to the clades of this virus. We have Central African clade and West African clade. This is the old nomenclature. Now Central African clade is termed as clade 1 and West African clade is termed as clade 2. The clade 1 has subclades as clade 1A and clade 1B. The clade 1B has been detected in 2024 that's in this year. On the other hand the clade 2 subclades includes clade 2A and clade 2B. The clade 2B has global presence when it proved a global threat back in 2022 and 2023. And now in this year, that is in 2024, it's also an international concern. We see the CFR, that's case fatality rate for clade 1, ranges from 1.4% up to 10%, whereas in clade 2, it ranges from 0.1% up to 3.6%. The clade 1 proves to be lethal than clade 2. Moreover, the map distribution of these clades have been shown here. We see the red color region and countries shown here are the clade 2 outbreak in 2022. The pink color designates the endemic clade 2 in West African countries. The purple one designates the clade 1 presence in Central African region. Now let's get to the signs and symptoms of Mpox disease. We get the fever, headache, chills, sore throat, swollen lymph nodes and rash. This rash develops in phases, which we are going to see later on in this video. The incubation period of this virus ranges between 5 to 21 days. Furthermore, the path of transmission is as follows. We have animal to human transmission, which involves bites scratch from infected animals, consume infected animals, or contact with infected secretions or lesions. Second path involves human to human transmission via respiratory droplets from close contact, direct contact with lesions, contaminated surfaces, vertical transmission, or sexual transmissions. Now finally, let's see the Mpox disease phases and its progression. The first phase is the incubation phase, which ranges from 7 to 14 days in general, but can extend up to 21 days also. In this phase, we have no symptoms. The virus is present in the blood, called vermia at the end of this incubation period. The second phase is the prodromal stage or febrile stage which lasts between 1 to 5 days. In this phase early symptoms occur like fever, headache, muscle ache, lymphadenopathy, that swelling of lymph nodes and back pain. Then we have third phase that's rash development. It lasts for 1 to 4 days after fever. First of all, we see the initial rash development on face and then we see the rash develops on other parts of the body. The rash develops in stages, what we call stages of rash development. First we have macules, flat red spots shown in the diagram, then papules, raised bumps, then vesicle fluid filled bumps, followed by pustules, pus filled blisters. And finally the scab. That's the crust that eventually falls off. And during these events, the fatality can occur in both the cases, be it a clade 1 or clade 2. But more fatalities occur in clade 1b. But if fatality doesn't occur, 
there is recovery phase in patients after rash development. So this is what the Mpox disease is and the monkeypox virus. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Do consider supporting me on Patreon or YouTube and make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.